Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I will continue the problems on tabular data interpretation. See here. First of all, we need to read the information which is given in the table. After that, according to that, we need to solve the problems. Okay. First of all, if you observe carefully, here the information is about a center and post wise number of candidates. Center and post wise number of candidates. Here, these are the different centers. One is Bangalore, Delhi, Mumbai, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Lucknow and Chennai. These are the different centers and uh, their post, uh, their posts are given. One is officer post, clerk, field officer, supervisor, specialist officer. These are the five different uh, categories in terms of uh, post and then the number of centers. If you observe number of centers, total seven centers are there. Total seven centers and the number of posts are five different posts. Here this is the information. All the values are number of candidates. Those are working in that particular center. Suppose for example, if you take this 2000, here this 2000 is called as number of officers in Bangalore. And 15,000 is number of officers in Delhi. Likewise, each and every category, this is 5,000 is number of clerks in Bangalore. All these are number of persons. Now, that is a given information. Based on that, we need to solve the questions. Here, the first question is, what is the first question? Read the question carefully. In Chennai, the number of clerks in Chennai, the number of clerks is approximately how much percent more than that of officers. Here we are talking about Chennai. We are talking about Chennai. Last one. And also the cadres are clerks and uh, officers. The number of clerks. Clerks value is 11,000. Number of clerks in Chennai. 11,000. And uh, that is comparing with uh, officers. That is comparing with officers. And the number of officers are 9,000. Number of officers are 9,000. Here the question is uh, number of clerks. This 11,000 is how much percentage more than that of officers. So you need to calculate percentage more than. Percentage more than. What is meant by percentage more than? Difference between those two values divided by less value. Difference between those two values divided by less value. And uh, whenever you are calculating percentage, into 100 percentage symbol is common. Into 100 percentage symbol. That is a common thing. Now, calculate the answer. Percentage more than is nothing but difference between those two. What is the difference here? 2000, 11,000 minus 9,000, that is 2000 divided by less value. What is the less value in this? 9,000 into 100. Now, if you observe carefully, three zeros, three zeros gets cancelled. Here, which is equal to 200 divided by 9, that is equal to 9 to 0, 18 and still 2 is left over. 20 means again 9 to 0. 22 percentage, approximately 22 percentage. We don't want the exact value. As the question is asking about approximate value, you just uh, uh, cancel the value up to this one only. No need of doing the decimal values. If he is asking about uh, up to two decimals, then you can go with uh, further values. But according to the options, you have only one option which is starting with uh, 22 and also we are calculating the approximate value always better to go with the options and also calculation part up to some uh, certain level only that is uh, 22 percentage no need of going with the uh, decimal points approximate answer is 22 percentage option b is the right answer let's move on to the next question see here the center is kolkata in Kolkata, the number of specialist officers is approximately what percent of officers? Here we are talking about Kolkata, that is this center. 
in this center number of specialist officers specialist officers 1200 specialist officers in kolkata 1200 and next uh, officers officers means that is first value officers 14900 14900 now the question is uh, specialist officer this value 1200 is what percent of uh, officers what percent of officers in the sense uh, here this 1200 is what percent of this total 14900 so the denominator value is 14900 and whenever you are calculating the percentage you need to multiply that value with 100 and put the percentage symbol at the end here you need to calculate this answer carefully why because uh, whenever you are solving the problems related to these kind of models it is very important to note the approximate value it is somewhat very difficult to calculate the exact value right so better to go with the uh, approximations here if you observe carefully two zeros two zeros gets cancel and next uh, here if you take uh, 149 as 150 this one will be 0 0 gets cancel and next uh, 3 four sir 3 five times 5 one sir 5 2 sir so this value becomes 4 into 2 8 percentage approximately 8 percentage is the required answer 8 percentage option d in the given options you are also having 8.5 percentage but don't go with this uh, 8.5 here this is approximately 8 percentage as the denominator is uh, 149 i am taking the nearest round figure number which is 150 in that way you need to solve the problems uh, in data interpretation why because uh, if you want the exact values uh, it will take too much time to get the answer but uh, in examination point of view especially competitive examinations uh, time is very crucial role so that uh, you must be aware of that particular time period always better to go with the approximate answers don't go with exact answers next question see here what is the difference between total number of officers and uh, clerks here the question is uh, total number of officers and clerks uh, difference we need to calculate that value see here first of all uh, this is officers and this one is clerks first i will calculate uh, total officers total officers 2000 plus 15000 17000 17000 17000 34000 17, first three values sum 34000 and next uh, 9000 is last one 9000 plus 35 which is equal to 12500 12500 and next remaining two values i will add now zero units place is zero and next followed by tens place is 6 9 plus 3 12 next one is a carry 2 plus 4 6 and next 1 plus 1 2 this is total officers now you can add all these uh, values uh, which is equal to units place is 0 tens place is 6 now hundreds place uh, 2 plus 5 7 and next uh, 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 4 12 1 carry 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 2 7 these are number of officers all together all together number of officers 72760 now you can calculate number of clerks all together number of clerks all together here also will go with uh, some kind of uh, round figure numbers here all uh, almost majority of the numbers are round figures 17 plus 5 22000 This is twenty-two thousand plus twenty plus eleven. Twenty plus eleven thousand. That is thirty-one thousand. Or else you can go with these two. 
20 plus 19,500 that is 39,500 and next after that 11,000 plus 15,300 which is uh, 26,300 and last one is sum of these two is 26,300 and last one you need to add 17,650 now we will uh, Calculate all the values. Uh, we will add all the values. Units place is 0. Tens place. Tens place is 5. Next, hundreds place. 5 plus 3, 8. 8 plus 6, uh, 14. Next, uh, 1 is carry. Thousands place. 3 plus 9, 12. 12 plus 6, uh, 18. 18 plus 7, 25. 2 carry. Next 2 plus 2, 4, 7, 9, 10. 1 lakh 5450. Now we need to calculate the difference between these two. 105450. That is total clerks and officers are 72,760. What is the difference between these two? Here it is 0 units place. 15 minus 6, 9. And next, uh, here it is 3 will be there. 13 minus 7. 13 minus 7, 6. And next, 4 will be there. This is 2. And this one is 3. 32,690. That is the difference between number of clerks and uh, officers. That is the required answer. 32,690. Option C. Next question. Which center has 300 percentage more number of clerks as compared to Bangalore? Here, as we are calculating Bangalore, in Bangalore, which center has, as compared to Bangalore, number of clerks? Number of clerks in Bangalore, that is 5,000. That is 5,000. Now, the question what he is asking is, which center has 300 percentage more number of clerks? 300 percentage. What is 300 percentage of uh, this 5000? Which is nothing but 15000. Okay. 300 percentage of this value. If you want to calculate 300 percentage of this value. 300 percentage into 5000. 3 into 5000, 15000. Right. Here he is saying that. 15,000 value is more additionally as comparing with this value. It means uh, how many number of clerks should be there? 5,000 plus additionally 15,000. Total 20,000 clerks will be there in which city? In which center 20,000 clerks are there? That you need to find. 20,000 clerks. Once check it out here. Yes, 20,000. That is in which center? Hyderabad. In Hyderabad, exactly 300 percentage more number of clerks as compared to Bangalore. Option C is the right answer. Last question in this session. See here. Which center has the highest number of candidates? Highest number of candidates. Guys, if you observe the numbers carefully, Guys, whenever you are solving the problems in these kind of uh, data interpretation, observation is also very important. Why? Because if you closely monitor all the values, uh, 2, 15, 000, 17, where the values are maximum, once observe those values, where the values are maximum. See, this value is maximum as compared to all the values, right? So, once check it out, is there any center which consisting of uh, more than 90,000? Remaining all values are not even close to 90,000, right? Here this is 2,500, uh, 5,050, uh, 2,050, 750. You will not get even 9,000 also. Here in Hyderabad itself, you will get maximum value, maybe more than uh, 1 lakh. Why? Because 90,000, 20,000 itself that is 1 lakh 10,000. Right? But if you see the remaining values also, in remaining values you will not get uh, 
not even 90,000. So, obviously, your required answer will be Hyderabad only. No need of uh, calculating each and every center total value. If you do like that, definitely it will be time waste process. Uh, directly, you can just observe the numbers and uh, keep your answer within seconds. Uh, in this way, you can solve the problems related to this kind of models. Uh, guys, uh, that's all about today's uh, this session. I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thanks for watching.